Living the life. Our first guest, our first guest of the evening, has adapted her skills in batik and hand dyeing fabrics, together with a broad range of creative techniques. As an emerging artist, her inspirations come from a mixture of elements, combining her Western upbringing with her Asian or Islamic heritage. Her work is constructed using surface pattern, textile, and calligraphy skills, combined in each piece with unique style of stonework. Please welcome to the show. Renaz Shahid. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Thank and you for having me. That's quite a creative introduction there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, wow, it's going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot there. There's, There's a lot. There. It's quite yeah. intricate, not yeah. unlike the kind of work that you do, right? <laughs> what was it, to reflect on your childhood a little bit, tell me, like, what it was like as a kid. Like, what was it that drew you into art? What, what pulled you into this? You know, it was, it was just sort of lots of little experiences that I went through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're younger, you get dragged to Pakistan and see the family and everybody. And, you know, which was all great because yeah. one thing I really, really enjoyed was when we used to go to the bazaars, uh -huh. we'd see, I, I would, you know, we'd, we, you'd see them, they're just in the streets dyeing fabric and, yeah, and they're there stitching. And, and I used to just be so fascinated with it. And yeah. I used to just watch them in detail tell what's going on mm -hmm. and I remember one once or twice my mum would say you know what are you looking at so carefully and I'm like I'm just you know you wouldn't even hear what she's saying uh -huh. because I was so engrossed with what was going on uh -huh. and I'd be like oh I want to have a go I want to have a go but yeah. obviously I was young and you know they wouldn't let me no. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah so it was it was sort of experiences like that and then also my parents are quite creative as well so um, so how did it evolve from there? Because obviously you, you've seen, because uh, obviously that's the material being dyed, and we've yeah. seen that they get the cloth, put it in the it's big pot. Cool. Yeah, it's, in it's, the it's boiling hot experience. water, so, yeah. yeah. So, so where did it go from this? Obviously you've seen the, 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 the kind of, Art with, with with material. Yes. Um, and also, I know there's, there's there's art that you do across well. There's a wide spectrum of art that you're yeah. involved in. So how, how do the various kind so, of areas well, come about? Well, like for instance, the the calligraphy side of it came when we went to um, I went to an Islamic school. Mm -hmm. So they took us on a school trip, and we learned how to do calligraphy for the day. And you know, when when I was younger and I was reading the Quran, I would yeah. always just look at the letters and how they were formed and you get patterns all the way around the pages and I would just look at those and that's where sort of the, the calligraphy and the floral designs and the patterns came mm. up and then as I got older and then obviously mixing Pakistan my you know my culture with it all the stonework started going into my mind and I was thinking oh wow you know, I could put crystals on it I could do yeah. this and I could do that and then so um, whilst I was at sort of you know, through, throughout all my formal education, mm -hmm. I, I always chose art and design. Mm. And, and then I would use mosques as my inspiration. And Which kind of mosques? All sorts of mosques. Also, so, mosques like, you know, you like that you so there was like the Blue Mosque. You oh, know, there was um, with trips to Pakistan. I'd obviously taken lots of pictures of like Bad Shah Masjid yeah. in Lahore. In Lahore. Where about to, to, is that Lahore where you mainly went to for when you went to Pakistan? It was a mixture of places. You know, uh -huh. when you're young, obviously you get you, we've got family here. We've got family here. You've got yeah. to go to every single house. See, I don't know. Mine are so, all in Lahore. <laughs> and I never, I never went anywhere. It was always Lahore, and that was great. I was happy with that. Yeah. But, it, no, but otherwise, is beautiful. otherwise it was Multan as well. And you know, the, mm. sometimes. You know, when I was younger, obviously, I didn't know what things were, and yeah. I would just take a picture of it, or so I just it remembered it. Because obviously, when, when I think of a mosque, obviously you've got the classic minaret, you've got a classic yeah. dome, dome. Um, and I guess blue mosque. I'm thinking the the, the mosaic inside. But yeah. what was it about the mosques that that really struck you? Out know, it was the, the the intricate sort of Arabic calligraphy all the way around the walls, and then all the geometry all the way around the walls. I, you know, I was just so intrigued with patterns and mm -hmm. shapes all the time it was just yeah. constantly in my mind all the time i don't know why it was just something that stood out to me but it's yeah. quite striking i mean like, yeah. like you say in so in lahore there's another building called the shahi killer the, yeah the, the, the course, yes which yeah. is across the across the kind of garden you know from that's the, right yeah so and then the, i think there's an intricate kind of uh, method of art that's ta that that's Kind of embedded into the walls called Pietra Dura. Yes. So I was just like, wow. Like, so I didn't know what that was. But, so, you you know. don't need me. But I, I didn't know what it was. Somebody told me it's basically like really kind of finely cut and polished yes. stones. Yes. And you see this a lot, even if you go to like the tombs, yes. like the tomb of Jahangir. Yes. That's decorated with Pietra yeah. Dura as well. There's a lot of that kind of mosaic mm. all over the place, isn't there? That, in absolutely. Yeah. And uh, one of the things was over this last summer, I went over to Morocco to sort of oh. learn more about that. Uh -huh. mm. And and um, we sort of learnt how to create our own tiles and how they actually cut those mosaic tiles. Wow. And each one is hand cut 
and it's so precise and you see them you know knocking all the bits out and uh -huh. you just kind of think how are you making it so perfect but these people have got so much experience behind yeah. them it's but been going it, on for so long well this is this is an interesting point you make because we, we had a guest on a few weeks ago we were yeah. talking about calligraphy yeah. and how it's a dying art i know in india it was yes. the reference i was making that yeah that it was a tradition which was passed down from generation to generation and yes. now people are no longer using that art right, skill yes. because of you know yeah. computers now yeah. having the, the, the arabic yeah. keyboard and, and when i think of mosaic <clears throat> Again, it's, 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 again, it's a very Islamic tradition. It's not, I mean, I don't know whether it comes from the Prophet Sallallahu time, but I know when mm -hmm. we look at the grand mosques of the Muslim world, yeah. it's something which has always been there. It's a very intricate design. Yes. But yeah. I, I don't really see many people, I mean, we're, we're trying to revive calligraphy, yeah. but I don't see many do mosaic. I mean, it, it, yeah. it, it, do, do you see that changing? Are, are people I going think to mosaic? what's happening is one thing, actually, while I was in Morocco, was I, I spoke to a few of the, the tradesmen that were working there, and one thing they were saying was they were, the, the new generation have got easier way of doing things and but one of the main things is they don't want to work so hard and create these pieces they just sort of want to go out earn some money and be rich mm. and this was coming from their older you know the older generation, generation. and it's the older people now that are actually continuing with this because the younger people don't want mm. to do it um, but however saying that when you come to England now, people people are actually really interested in that type of thing. So more and more people are starting to encourage um, these designs and these skills mm -hmm. that have been around for so long. Um, because it's such a shame that, you know, they're, this, they're kind of half dying out, but then there are people out there that are trying to keep hold of them. Yes, of yeah. course. And, you know, th that's why as well with my work as well, I use a lot of the traditional ways of doing things. Yeah. And I don't want to cheat and use all the old, you know, the new, ma you know, technology has advanced sure. so much. Yeah. But I still stick to the old ways of doing things because I just think you can't beat those traditional well, methods. Let's take a look at some of your, because we just hinted yeah. about your work a little bit and the yeah. process of which is which has kind of evolved into it. So here we go. This is the Faith in Art exhibition. Tell us about this exhibition. What was going on here? It's an exhibition that's running at the moment, uh, currently. And um, I was approached by the organisers to create create some pieces and so the pieces that you're seeing here now are sort of again this is a piece that I've used 24 karat gold on wow uh, yeah <laughs> And the whole design the, is gosh, painted so, with 24 karat gold. That's expensive piece. is one of those pieces then? 24 <laughs> karat gold. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. And then, you know, and then you've got sort of the, that, the long one that you saw in mm -hmm. the middle, that's all hand cut, whereas I could use machinery if I wanted to, but I just feel that you don't get the same effect. So I've hand cut all of, all of those pieces yeah. with tiny, tiny little scissors that, to be so see, accurate. I want to see this 24, 24 karat gold. Yeah. <laughs> gold. We've got to see this again. Can we have another look, please? So we're going to we're gonna have another look. At, so, so this is the piece? It, it's this oh, one. Oh, sorry, here we this go. One, yeah. So what's going on? What are you, how are you embedding in there? Are you using a tweezer or what's going so on? So I'm actually painting it on just with the finest paintbrush. Uh -huh. But even then, the paintbrush still wasn't fine enough for me, so I had to trim the brush down. So literally, I just had literally like one hair. So this hair. is kind of 24 karat gold paint. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you can. There's obviously traditional methods of making it, uh -huh. yeah. um, and you've got to mix it into honey, and it it sort of you know like you get. You know when you get like matai and it has yeah. the silver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it, it kind of comes like that, and it's but 24 carat gold sheets and you can get different levels of the gold Gosh, and that's then you've got to yeah. mix it with honey and there's a whole process to it and it you know it can take a good you few days to mix the paint make. with honey no it's just you get the gold the gold itself and sorry. you mix it into oh, so, so the honey do that yourself, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't just buy it off a shelf <coughs> as in gold you, you could off the rack yeah. off the rack no, <laughs> no, go, go, go to my local I don't have gold bricks in my house paint, please, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We were talking about a very intricate piece before we left, which was a, a gold and how you took a gold, 24 karat gold sheet, mixed it with honey, honey. to yeah. produce paint. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's quite remarkable. Now, 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 just on that point itself, you know, one thing I'm intrigued about when I think of art, obviously we, we hear about auctions and we mm -hmm. hear about art going for, for millions of pounds and dollars and, you know, mm. Monet and Manet and, you know, the, the guy who cut his hair Sistine off. Sistine Chapel. And yeah. Sistine Chapel. Van Gogh. Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh yeah. that's it. So, so, now, obviously, you know, the, the, the Islamic artist, it's, it, it's an emerging fad. You know, we, we, if you go to charity dinners, that's where we, you know, we, we, we always see them mm -hmm. as auction items. When do you think will we see uh, uh, Islamic art fetching that, the kind of money that we see 
in, in a mainstream market or, or I mean hopefully I'm, I, we don't have to kill off any of our yeah. uh, body <laughs> inspiring or or any of us have to cut their ear off <laughs> <laughs> please don't <laughs> cut your ears don't off, ears off. Don't. Off. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah let's, we've got some footage let's, mm. we're going to take a look at this and maybe you can talk us through this as well at the same time because uh, okay. it's fascinating really yeah. oh, it's beautiful that was for a charity event um, in fact this was one I did for the Islam channel a couple of years ago oh wow it's all on glass and it's full of um, pearls semi-precious stones it's got one or two real black onyx stones in there as well oh, wow and it's all on hand dyed black uh, black velvet um, that was actually for an, uh, a charity for charity. <laughs> it was for charity they'd actually invited me to create a piece and and I'd actually had that one just finished it so I was like right you can have this one oh, that's so nice like. fantastic so but, how, how about this one is it, what was this this for? one was after I got back from Morocco obviously my mind was just going overdrive now mm. with designs so um, I picked a, a design from one of the madrasas that I came across and it's all on silk yeah. The background is all silk and all the pattern was all silk as well. And again, the outline of the of the pattern was again done in, in the in the gold. And ah. and then I had some stonework in there. And then where it says Bismillah, uh -huh. that's actually once I've framed the piece, I've then done work on top of the glass that's as well. That's quite unusual canvas silk. Yes. Because normally when you think of canvas, it's, it's just like a just like Cotton fabric, cotton sort fabric, of. That's right, yeah. all being covered. Yeah, I know. You like is... the finer things, don't you, Renaz? I, <laughs> I gather this: this gold being used, yeah. this silk. This is extraordinary. Yeah. So, what's what's going on here, by the way? This somebody's was actually house. somebody's house. They were having yeah. it was a newly renovated home, and obviously, where you can see where I've done the artwork, it was a huge window from the top of the front of the door, mm -hmm. and it just went. To right to the top of the ceiling and it was a huge panel of glass and she just wanted something very simple we didn't want anything too much with it being the front sure. of the house and on the road so um i created a some bit of geometry uh -huh. and the text in the middle which is actually um was inspired by kufic text you, oh, know, wow. you, you get so many different types of scripts of arabic yeah so kufic was one of my favorite ones and it's very square and then here and there you might have a swirl in it or something, but that's fantastic. That one I hope there weren't a first time buyer, the poor people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, that piece, but that piece itself was all etched. Amazing. And then I peeled all the rest off. And then I don't know if you can see it, but in the left picture, uh -huh. you'll you can I mean can you see it from there? Um, what was really nice was when she switches the lights on from the inside, the pattern reflects down oh, into, into her driveway. Oh, right. How nice. Oh, so it's reflected yeah. on the driveway itself? Yeah, How it reflects wonderful. out onto the driveway. That's beautiful. And that's all etched, so it's like a frosty effect, almost How, like tracing paper. How long did it take you to do that? That took me two days to make, but it took me like two, three weeks of preparations. Sure. Yeah. Because then I had to design everything, make sure it was all the right size and it fitted into the uh -huh. actual panel. And then, of course, then you're kind of thinking, God, I'm working on this person's window, so if anything goes wrong... Yeah, I was going to say, because you've got to get it right the first it's time. It's got yeah. to be right the first time. Because you can't time. even rub it out and start a No, you can't, yeah. because the stuff that I've used is permanent, so as soon as it touches the glass, ah. that's it. You can't make any changes to it, so... So, so you, no you pressure, can't. then? No. <laughs> so we've got another, one more piece over here. This, uh, what's this going one, on here? This one was for another client. Um, I actually had to make this at their house as well. I had to get workmen in to put the piece of glass up for me because it was actually three metres wide. Wow. Um, and then about a metre tall. And then again, that's got etching in the background. Um, and then the black velvet, which I've hand dyed again. And it's actually black silk velvet. So it's like really nice. Well, which one would you say is your favourite piece <gasps> out of all the work that you've done? Because obviously you, you've got work which is bespoke so yes. you know that clients come to you and then work that you've been inspired by yourself yeah but which one would you say really stands out that you know your your, your proudest uh, piece of art to date god you know I, I don't know there's been so many um the thing is all my pieces i try and make so unique different to the one i've done previously mm -hmm. and yeah. previously so it's actually got to a stage now where i kind of don't know anymore <laughs> but um one of my favorites is that one that i did on the glass um, yeah. above the above the door um, only because it was directly straight onto her glass window mm. 
and I just thought it was such a simple way of mm -hmm. creating something. This is it, right? This is the one yeah. you need. I mean, that is a beautiful design. It's a wonderful idea as well to have yeah. that on your house. Uh, physically. And just the fact that it's reflecting on your driveway. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that, it reflects remarkable. at night time. It does look really beautiful and it's really hard to photograph. So, um, but it is really, really nice. And she has uh, the clients, you know, come back and told me that everybody that comes, they say to me that they can see it from down the road as they're driving up her street. Amazing. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a nice way of sort of expressing Islam in a nice, creative way. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and it's an interesting point because, you know, we were talking earlier about calligraphy. We spoke about mosaic. Yeah. But, but another important part of Islamic art was really geometry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and if you look yeah. at some of the, the like, go to Andalusia, yes. the whole setup of that kind of courtyard is all based on geometry yes. and, and right angles yeah. and the perfect yeah. symmetry. And, yeah. and and that, I guess that's got, I don't know if it's got Islamic significance, but it's certainly in Islamic it's influenced, history. Yeah. It's definitely influenced by the Muslims um, because we've been, if you look around and you, you look at the really old mosques that you see, like even if you go to Morocco, you've got the mosque there, which is a thousand years old. And even there, you'll find all the geometry on there. Mm -hmm. So it's been around for such a long time and it's, mm. it, I would say it's definitely well, come from the Muslims. Well, we've got a little time lapse of you working with geometry as well. Yes. I, I think we do anyway. Let's have yeah. a little look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yes. So this is the piece that I was creating for the exhibition that's happening at the moment. Um, and this was... Faith in Art. Yes, okay. that's the one. And you work very quickly, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. Ten minutes, the, whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing was done. Yeah. And um, that, that was about... <coughs> It's about three weeks ago, four weeks ago now. Mm. So I was about six months pregnant at the time. So oh, it was it was really difficult to sort of work with because it was a big sheet of glass and then I was struggling to sort of lean over yeah. and do it. But alhamdulillah, I got there in the but end. And I have to ask this, I ask this all, to all my artist guests who okay. come here. Look, you know, Asian background. <laughs> yeah. I know, he's thinking, why is he asking this <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, come home, Asians. mum, dad, I want to go to art school. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do they take it? And I'm not quite looking, you know, you're married. I mean, how, yeah. how, how supportive have your husband been? Well, you know, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I've been very, very lucky. My parents were 100% supportive over everything I chose. They, they said to me, look, if, if it makes you happy, we don't care. We don't, we're not bothered if you're not a doctor or a lawyer or a solicitor or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, you do, we, we can see that that's what you've always enjoyed from being a child. And if that's what you want, go for it. However, it was more the community that kind of yeah. felt that let me down. Oh. And how, how's that? What did the community do? Well, it was just sort of, you know, speaking to, you know, obviously you, you, you're studying. Oh, mm. you know, Auntie G comes up to you. Ah. <laughs> you know, so what are you studying? And yeah. then, you know, when I'd say surface pattern in textiles, they'd be like, oh, is that a is degree? That gonna get you a job? Is that going to pay? <laughs> you know, it'd be one of those yeah. things. And I remember one time, one person actually sort of just directly said to me, oh, you know, art's not really worth anything. Why don't you do something oh. that's a bit well, worse? They didn't know what they were talking about because your yeah. art is clearly worth something. Yeah. We've been really impressed by it. Thank I'll you. tell you who else was really <laughs> impressed by it. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Al-Rashid Al Maktoum, oh. uh, who's the Vice yes. uh, President, Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Dubai. Uh, and this is the piece yes. of work that he saw. He attended this exhibition yes, as well. That's right. uh, tell us what that was like to have royalty attend your, uh, uh, well, your what, exhibition? Well, what happened was um, the Dubai government had organised um, a... I can't remember what it was called. Like the, the, it was the Global Islamic... Oh, they, he, he, he's there. Yeah, the Glo Economic yeah, Summit. Economic yeah. summit. Mm -hmm. And what happens is only the Dubai government choose what pieces of art goes into the exhibition. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, that got chosen. I had a few of the pieces, uh -huh. yeah. but then um, uh, it took, you know, it's, working with them is really difficult when you're yeah. abroad. So what happened was it took like months um, for them to get back to us. And every day I'd ring, I was like, has any of my pieces <laughs> come with anything? Just give me anything. And then eventually they came back to me and they said, congratulations, your this piece has gone through. Fantastic. So, and then it was just like, okay, what happens now? I didn't, hadn't even thought about what happens next. So when, then obviously then they said, we need to put it up and, you know, and so the exhibition happened and he was there and he attended and he saw my Fantastic. work. And of course, you know, you've won an award work. recently as well, right? Just yes. A few weekends yeah. ago at the yes. British Muslim Awards. That's right. That was yes. by far the most important award, right? That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was a very big shock because I didn't know about, um, I didn't know anything about it at the time and I just got a phone call one day 
um, literally like two weeks before, and they said, um, oh, you've been nominated for, somebody's nominated you for the arts and culture category. Yeah. Um, arts and culture and aware awareness it was. And um, also to congratulate you that you're, you've been selected as a finalist. Wow. So this was the Fantastic. first time I'd even heard that I'd even been nominated, yeah. never be, never mind being a finalist. And then, um, you know, so we went, they invited me down to the awards and at this stage as well, we still don't know who's won anything. And, and I'm just thinking, God, you know, there's so many great, such great talent in that mm -hmm. same category. There's no yeah. way I've won. And I remember saying to my husband, God, forget this. There's just no point of going because yeah. I've not won this. And when I got there, he started filming when they were going to announce who'd won and he had his camera up. And I was like, just stop recording because if I don't win, I'm going to be really depressed. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, as they started talking, they were very crafty how they did it. They didn't announce the winner. They described what they had done. Aww. So then when, as they were describing, I was thinking, that sounds like me, but I'm not sure. You know? <laughs> and then and then they said, Renal Shahid. Yeah. And then and that, you that won? was it. And yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. fantastic. I think just based on what we've seen, Truly deserved it. Thank yeah, you. Most deserved definitely. It. Absolutely. Thank you most so definitely. Much. And I this is the most important award you're going to get from me <laughs> and Arthur. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, we're Thank art you. connoisseurs here. Absolutely. And we're going to learn a little bit about We talk about geometry. Oh, yeah. We're going to yeah. learn a little bit more about that <laughs> in the th last third because we're going to be competing for that oh, chocolate for orange. The chocolate orange. It's yeah. right there. Yes. I'm okay. ready for some art. Teach us. Come on. I want to learn some art. How do we do it? Right. Okay. So. I've picked a very, very simple geometric design for you guys Easy. to do. Okay. It's Let's just show this on camera, right? This, this is what. Can, can we get I've uh, prepared? Go, go can to, you get that? We, we go. We've got to draw this. Yeah. Is the point. Right. So and basically, we're also squatting while we draw this. <laughs> by the way, just so you know. That's not part of the geometry, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so basically, what you're going to do is make a series of circles to create <coughs> to create a hexagon, okay. which is then going to create a cube. Okay. to represent the Kaaba. Gotcha. So what you need to do is start off with a horizontal line. Okay. okay. You've, you've uh, sorted out your compasses. Yeah. Yep. Oh, does it matter right. how, how long the, the line yeah, is? Yeah, it pro it's probably better to go as, as so wide as the I page. I did the whole thing, but oh. I'm, yeah. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning. Oh, <laughs> Look at he's, that. he's already one step closer to that orange I'm there. closer <laughs> to the orange. The <laughs> orange is mine. <laughs> now I've got two I lines. Sense it. <laughs> You've got two, I like that. Oh, yeah. There is a rubber at the end of your pencil if you if you need to Yours use Yours is 3D. Rubber. Just flip over so, the paper. Oh, that's a flip over there. Yeah. Yeah. Very clever. That's okay. a trick from our art school. <laughs> All right, now okay. we're making circles. Right, Straight yes. Yeah, so I thought the first attempt. Approximately okay. any sort of, try and find the center, create your first circle. Okay, I'm about to do this. Right. Circles are about to be created. And uh, I, oh. I'll tell you now that you need to be accurate from this point. Okay. If you're not accurate from here, your design is going to not join up at be the flawed. end. Yeah. Okay. My compass so. is, doesn't work. Ah. It does work. All right, I got it. Hey, look, My circle. Yeah, they... I've got a circle. <laughs> My compass moved. <laughs> Where no! Are there we are. I drew a circle. <laughs> no, my compass moved. Yeah. <laughs> Go in. I know it just moves. But it's not still... You just you just let it move. Just let Put it... the pressure down on the needle and that will help you. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And then you just swizzle it around. Do you want me to God, show this is so intense. Oh, I got it, I got it, yeah? I got it. I, got it. I think go. I'm in control now. Right. There it's, we go. Mine is kind of 3D a bit, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can there we see. go. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I've got circle. Oh, my God, you're so cool. So, where right. are the two circles now? I go here? Yeah, yeah, so now where okay. it meets, you need to create your second circle. So, okay. you're on your third now. So, so where, where it meets. you're, okay, yeah, we're so where you've, yeah. I'm inspired. I want go for Terry's it. chocolate orange. Just go. For, and I chose that orange because uh, of the the geometry that that chocolate's made of. As oh well. damn! Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna channel my favorite artist. Come on, I can do this. Come on, Manny, <laughs> Manny, <laughs> Monet, <laughs> Sistine Chapel. Oh, I've got over. But, oh, oh that my! That's, that's, that's fine. Of, I did something wrong there. So now you want right, to continue it until. You're, right. You've oh. gone back Circles, to the beginning again. Oh God, what's going on? There we are. I needed to dig in that 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 corner. Come on. That's the problem with the compass. It, Come it on, just Arthur, moves you around. Can do this. <laughs> there, see, it's like the Pakistan oh, Super League. What, what, what was it? Oh, see, there you go. I've dug it into the table. <laughs> this table is going to have loads of hole, holes in it by the end of the day. Yeah, big time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another circle another coming circle. up. Right. Where's you know, you, you guys oh. need to speed up because you've still got another layer of circles to go. Oh, yet. That's oh my god. So oh, yeah, you yeah. need to you need to speed okay, up. Okay, where do I go there next? Go. Right. So you know these ones here. Oh yeah. Okay. You need to use those as your next point. Okay, gotcha. Well. If you're gotcha. just better than me, I'm going to vandalize ah! it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like you're doing that for me already. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you've still got one more there to do, which will join. 
it will This is much no, harder than it looks, I'm going to tell you. This? Yeah. People so at home are thinking these guys can't even make circles. <laughs> Oh no, my daughter's gonna hard. have a field day at this. So it's <laughs> hard. It's harder than it looks, guys. Honestly, at home, I'm, and I'm trying to do it quickly now because <laughs> there, you know. I've, I've completed it. Right. So now you've oh got one more circle go of circles oh, to do. Oh, another circle of circles. Yeah. Here. So if you look at your work page, yes, that's the right. Wonderful. So if you look there. at your work page now on here, I've ah, so now I've got to go on the edge of the yeah, circle. Yeah, I've go highlighted again. where you need to put your compass for okay. the next set. All right. Yeah, yes. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh no! So, no, no, no there we that's go. Right, that's oh, I've got, right. I've got the hang of it now. Yeah. One, one foot down. Come on, Press it down. Oh, bless you, bro. There <laughs> you go. Look at that. So, so now your next one. Look down. at that. There, there's another one done. This is it. <laughs> oh no, where's the next? Oh, now I'm losing sight of my this joints. This is where you're going to start getting very <laughs> confused. They're in your knee, so, mate. Uh, you've there. got. Yeah. If you get confused, have a look at this. This will show you where your next one. Oh, okay. here we go. I'm that's totally going to lose this orange. I can tell. Got oh. you. We've got one minute left, so so. Oh can, my God! Can, you can, need to hurry then. Okay. Oh God. Have you got one minute left? We've got one minute left. I'm, okay, I'm, hold on. I'm gonna have to go freestyle on this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, That's the I'm, only I'm, way I can do this. Here we go. Come on, guys! Don't let me down. There. Here we go. There. Here we go. That's done. Here we go. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds that left. That one's done. That Here we go. Up. I'm, I'm lost. Right. Enough. So now you need to join that one. Oh, that one. You've made no, 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 no circles, on the mate. Other I made loads of circles. Look at all this. Look at my circles. Amazing. C circles. <laughs> right, we've got to finish this in 15 seconds. I'm making as many circles as I can. Oh, and there's a cube in the middle. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got to make a cube. Come there, on, there's getting... another one. I'm making a cube. Oh, hold on. I'm making a cube. It's gone. I'm it's making gone. a cube. Oh. I made a cube in the middle as well. Oh. Hey, time's up, time's up. Oh. Time's up. Oh, I made a cube. Uh, did you get your cube? Um, I, I, I made on. something. <laughs> no, I got a cube. I got a cube. I got what a cube. I, no, I, get? I got a cube. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Money! I think that, that, that looks oh. remarkably close to this. Is what oh, I've drawn. <laughs> I don't know what I've drawn. <laughs> All right, oh, my God. All right, Renaz, Renaz, so, I, okay. Right. I'm sorry for desecrating your com compasses, no. first of all. <laughs> but uh, what do you think? In terms of control. <laughs> in terms of control. She can't help but laughing. <laughs> She's laughing at our oh, ludicrously bad efforts. <laughs> Oh, bless so you, So, come man. on, I'm just going to... Who wins the orange? <laughs> right, OK. Oh, God, you know, it's actually a hard choice. Oh, no, 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 he's, no. he's made the effort to continue See? using the compass. Oh, but I've made more look, circles. Look, 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 my circles are <laughs> symmetrical. The, the only look, thing was I, I got rushed there, so it kind of went off tangent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 look at that. <laughs> See, that's you making these circles. <laughs> There's no circles. <laughs> All right, so right. Who's going to get the winner? OK, so the winner is... Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! I'm the champion I'm of square. oranges. And when you open <laughs> that, you'll see the geometry. I need a cube. I need a cube. And it's mine, not Terry's. What about my cube? <laughs> <laughs> I beat the cube. <laughs> oh my God, uh, Renaz, that was a lot of fun. Oh, Listen, that was not fun. You've proven, at least without, without oh. beyond a shadow of a doubt, that making art can be a lot of fun Absolutely. if a little yeah. bit time sensitive. Absolutely. So, uh, listen, if people want to find out more about your work and they want to see more of your work or mm. uh, watch, see it exhibited, yes. how, what's the best way to do it? Um, you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have a website. Um, you just need to Google renazshahid.com and you should find me. And then also the exhibition that um, is going on at the moment mm -hmm. is um, until the 28th of March, and it's probably going to get extended because there's been so much um, interest in it. So if you can make your way up to Skipton and have a look at that, that would be great fantastic. as well. Skipton, Skipton. Yeah. This is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Massive thank you to our wonderful guest, uh, Renard Shahid, for coming on the show today. And of course, thank you to you at home. But watch, remember, you can stay with us on Twitter at Islam Channel, hashtag LTL, hashtags. Uh, plus, don't forget, you can watch your favourite clips. Remember, youtube.com forward slash Islam Channel TV. Living the life will be back tomorrow at the circular time <laughs> of 7 pm. But until then, Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.